North Korea drops trash balloons. <laughs> no, North Korea drops trash balloons on the south. They're basically tying their rubbish to balloons <laughs> and sending it over the border so they don't have to do it. I mean, that's a that's a great idea. Just tie. I mean, there's not a lot of helium left. I learned this from smiling friends. Uh, but uh, you know, it's a, it's a good way to get rid of your rubbish. Just tie it to a balloon. And you know, that's nature's problem now. Uh, North Korea has dropped at least 260 balloons carrying rubbish in the south, prompting authorities to warn its residents to stay indoors. Just a big bag of just shitty nappies <laughs> just like landing at your front door. Uh, south Korea's military also cautioned the public against touching the white balloons and the plastic bags attached to them because they contain filthy waste and trash. The balloons have been found in eight of nine provinces in South Korea and are now being analysed. North and South Korea have both used balloons in their propaganda campaigns since the Korean War in the 1950s. South Korea's military had earlier said it was investigating whether there were any North Korean propaganda leaflets in the balloons, which is not going to work. Like... It, it, it really isn't going to work. When that lands there, the South Koreans are like, North Korea is best Korea, and the South Koreans are sitting there with our water and electricity and food <laughs> and going, no, it's, no, it's not. But anyway, uh, the recent incident comes days after North Korea said it would retaliate against the frequent scattering of leaflets and other rubbish in border areas by activists in the South. Mounds of waste paper and filth will soon be scattered over the border areas and the interior of the ROK, and it will be directly uh, and it will directly experience how much effort is required to remove them. North Korea's Vice Minister of Defence Kim Kang Il said in a statement to state media on Sunday, "Republic of Korea or ROK is the official name of South Korea, while the North is called DPRK or the Democratic People's Republic of Korea." And like many other democratic nations that say they're democratic nations it's not actually democratic late on tuesday residents living uh, north of the south's capital seoul and the border region received text messages from the provincial authorities asking them to refrain from outdoor activities it's just a big bag of shit <laughs> Uh, they were also asked to file a report at the nearest military base or police station if they spot an unidentified object. Uh, photographs shared on social media show bags attached via string to white translucent balloons carrying toilet paper, dark soil and batteries, among other contents. Police and military officers are seen in some of these photographs. South Korea's Yonhap News Agency reported that some of the fallen balloons carried what appears to be feces, judging from its dark colour and all those it is bags of shite. <laughs> this is... This, this is like the fucking, like, having a bad neighbour, so you just start throwing your rubbish, flicking, flicking, flicking your cigarette ends over his fence and all that, yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> that's, that's what it feels like. Uh, South Korea's military condemned the act as a clear violation of international law. I mean, imagine trying to go in front of the Hague with that. There's guys in there for the Balkans that are still serving, like, 40, 50 year sentences over... You know, having a few, a few, too, few too many gamer moments in Bosnia, and then North Korea goes up there and goes, <laughs> "They keep throwing bags of poo at me." <laughs> Who flung dung? <clears throat> Slightly racist, but anyway, it seriously threatens the safety of our people. Throwing bags of shit, uh, North Korea shit balloon, <laughs> a big shit balloon flying over the border. Uh, they flew, they're throwing poo at each other. That's what the situation's got to now, North and South Korea. They're literally throwing shit at each other. They're throwing shit balloons at each other. I mean, to be fair, it could be worse. But I mean, you know, it's not a nice situation, but at least it's funny. Uh, it seriously threatens the safety of our people. North Korea is entirely liable for what happens due to the balloons, and we sternly warn North Korea to immediately stop this inhumane and crass action, the military said, which is a very long and fancy way of saying stop throwing poop at us. In addition to anti-Pyongyang propaganda, activists in South Korea have launched balloons carrying, among other things, cash, banned media content, and even choco pies, a South Korean snack banned in the North. Earlier this month, a South Korea-based activist group claimed it had sent 20 balloons carrying anti-Pyongyang leaflets and USB sticks containing Korean pop music and music videos across the border. Seoul's parliament passed a law in December 2020 that criminalises the launch of anti-Pyongyang 
leaflets, but critics have raised concerns related to freedom of speech and human rights, as they have been doing in North Korea for a great number of years to absolutely no avail. North Korea has also launched balloons southward that attacked Seoul's leaders. In one such launch in 2016, the balloons reportedly carried toilet paper, cigarette butts and rubbish. It's like, it's like having an arsehole neighbour. That's what this is. Seoul police describe them as hazardous biochemical substances. Uh, with additional blah blah blah. Right, hazardous biochemical so I mean it's not good for you. Like literal shit isn't good for you and you shouldn't touch it but I just like the fact that like, it's like some little North Korean farmer is just like squatting on the ground with like a plastic bag wrapped around his ass, dropping it, dropping his business in it, tying it to a balloon and then letting it go with that little chip tune. <laughs> like it's a bag of shit flying into South Korea where everybody's sitting there doing their fucking TikTok dances and they just get hit with a shit balloon. This is the kind of warfare I want to see. This is the funny shit. I wish Modern Warfare, like, he said it. I wish Modern Warfare was, uh, just people shit roasting, like, shit, like, shitting each other up on Twitter. Roasting each other. Like, see that fucking back and forth that fucking, uh, Donald Trump and, uh, Kim Jong-un were having, where they were, like, calling each other fat and retarded. <laughs> oh, man, that, that is Modern Warfare to me. That is the way that Modern War should be. To be fair, though, this... This could be a lot worse. They could be shooting, but the thing is, it's like, see, when it comes to North and South Korea, I'm, I'm very, very much in the nothing ever happens crowd. Like, occasionally you get something like fucking mental. Like, remember that, by the way, potential mad lad video, that guy that did that daring escape with the Jeep that he crashed and he managed to like sprint through it and he get fucking shot like 30 times, but he managed to survive. The South Koreans had to stage a mission to go in and drag his body out and they managed to save him. The guy was alive. He survived the fucking escape attempt, which is mental. But the entire thing was caught on camera as well because fucking the, you know, what was it called again? Is it the 48th parallel? I think that's what I think that's what the border in North and South Korea is. I'm probably wrong. Google it. I'm probably wrong. But uh, that's like the most like surveilled area on the planet. There's like fucking tens of thousands of security cameras all along the border, guards posted, all that manner of stuff. So a lot of this guy's escape was actually caught on camera. You can see the full thing, and he survived. But he was like malnourished. Apparently, he had botulism. He had all the you know the usual stuff that you get in like nations where. Food is very scarce and uh, things just aren't very great. But yeah, that's a, that's a, he's a, he, I'll put him in the mad lad list. Should it just be... I don't know if I should make it just a generic video or if I should make him a mad lad. I mean, considering everything he went through and the fact that he was shot like 30 times and he still managed to survive, yeah, that's probably mad lad material. Fuck it, I'll make it a mad lad. 